Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, restoring miracle, a restoring basis a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we're here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number. Likewise, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Or if you prefer, you can call 866-735-2470. If you'd like to speak to a live person, 866-735-2470. Also ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business. Join me in my mission to help educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Earn thank you checks associated with your business. Or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee. You can be part of the Longevity family. Call 866-735-2470 for more information, or you can sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And I'd also like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're dealing with any kind of broken skin, eczema, rosacea, psoriasis, any kind of skin healing that you might need, our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream is made with a big dose of fat-soluble vitamin C as well as cholesterol. For healing the skin, for healing broken skin, or for moisturizing the skin, it's great for lips, it's great for dry skin on your heels or on your knees. You could find out all about our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Transdermal C Balm, and our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. All right. Welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. We've been talking about the vibrational nature of the body, the vibrational connection to good health. Everything vibrates, everything wiggles, oscillates, moves back and forth, whether we're talking about a galaxy or whether we're talking about an electron, whether we're talking about an animal or an atom, a human being, it's all vibration. Creation is vibration. But this vibratory nature is hidden. It's not obvious to our senses. Colors just look like colors. Red just looks like red. Blue just looks like blue. Things just look like things. Thoughts and words and language just seem to be things that happen to us. But underneath everything is vibration. At the core of everything is vibration. Nothing exists without vibration. Reality is vibration. Things and thoughts are vibratory phenomena. The electron and the atom and all the fundamental particles of reality are vibrations. So it should come as no surprise that health and wellness and sickness and disease are all about vibration. 
The brilliant Nobel Prize winning quantum physicist David Bohm, who's considered to be the successor to Albert Einstein and considered widely recognized as one of the most brilliant scientists who ever lived, he called the world that seems so obvious to us the explicate order. He said that this world uh, that seems so real is actually derived from a more fundamental place, a more fundamental reality of vibration. He called this the implicate order. He said the explicate order that we see comes from an implicate order of vibration that we do not see. In other words, the world we see, the world we live in, is derived from a world that we do not see, that we are not aware of. And this is so darn important because we are fooled by the world we see and we do not realize that it comes from a world that we do not see that we have control of. A world of pure vibration that is perceived by, by, uh, by our eyes and by our, 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 by our senses in general, and then organized and constructed based on our expectations, our beliefs, our programming. And that means that if we're sick, it's not random. We have responsibility, which means we have power. Responsibility means power. We have an ability to respond. We have responsibility, which means we have power over how our bodies show up. Sickness is not random. Disease is not random, nor is health and wellness. We create our world, for better or worse, from an invisible reality of vibration. And this is not new age babble. This is quantum physics, and it's the key to power. It's the key to health. It's the key to wealth. It's the key to happiness. According to the most renowned quantum physicists who ever lived, including Niels Bohr and Max Planck and eventually Albert Einstein, the world exists as waves, which are vibrations. And then we freeze the world into place to create the reality that we know. In other words, we create reality out of our vibrations or our waves. Physicists say we collapse the wave. That's their term for freezing. That's their term for freezing in vibration. And how, it is, uh, how is it that we collapse the wave? How is it that we lock in the wave? By our perceptions, by our observations, by our beliefs, by our expectations. And this is the secret that we're not told. We're, we're told that the government controls our lives, that doctors control our health, that bankers control our money, that the church controls our spirituality. We're told that we need a president and a boss and a physician so that our lives can show up that we, uh, our lives can show up as we want them to show up. But the real truth, the hidden truth is that when it comes to reality, it is we who control everything that shows up by how we perceive the nature of the vibratory world, the nature of the implicate order, by how we perceive it. Because creation is vibration and we have the power of, of, vi uh, of our vibrations by our thoughts and our feelings and our actions, including how we speak, how we breathe, our movements, our nutrition, our food, all, we th all the things we talk about on the bright side, we are master creators. It is we who create our lives for better or worse by the power of our vibrations, by the power of our thoughts, by the power of our feelings, by the power of our words, by the power of our actions. Creation is vibration. And the reason this is so important to understand is not only because it's true, not only because it's the way, it's the way things are, and if we don't live from truth, we're living then by definition lies. Even more importantly though, once we understand that vibration is cre creation, we will, will recognize that we have the power to create. We'll realize that no one has more creative power than us. If vibration is creation and everything we do is at its core vibrational and creative, then we are the creators of our world. We create in the same way that God creates, it says in the Bible, John 10, 34. Is it not written that you are gods, that ye are gods? God creates with vibration by controlling and manipulating vibrations. In the beginning, there was the word, and so do we. Now, the classic manifestation of vibration is electricity which is the end result of vibrations that are occurring at the quantum level, the tiniest levels, the levels of electrons, which are themselves pure vibration. And in this way, electrons and atoms are not verbs, are not nouns, they're verbs, they're actions. And we have control over those actions. In the same way, health and sickness are fundamentally electrical and vibrational, and we have control over health and sickness as well. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll return on the bright side right after this. Don't go away. All right, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our 
our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the Longevity products or anything we're speaking about here today, 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have open lines for you. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, head to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to purchase any of our any of our Truth Skin Health products, head to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, we'll get your phone calls here at the bottom of the hour, as we always do on the Bright Side. We're talking about the vibrational nature of health and wellness. We're talking about vibrate electricity as vibration, bioelectricity as vibration. A couple of days ago, we were talking about Dr. Royal Raymond Reif, who leveraged the power of electricity and leveraged the power of vibration with his Reif machinery. In fact, Dr. Reif was considered to be the father of bioelectric medicine. Dr. Reif was uh, Dr. Reif's ideas were used with great success back in the early 1900s. He treated a whole variety of health challenges, including cancer. What Dr. Reif discovered was that, that disease, as well as germs, disease-causing uh, entities like germs and viruses, all had specific frequencies. Frequencies are a type of vibration. And he found that germs and viruses all had frequencies. And by adjusting, uh, by readjusting frequencies in the body, health could be restored. He discovered that you could kill viruses, you could kill bacteria by using frequency manipulation, by shooting frequencies at these various microorganisms. According to Dr. Reif, everything has a frequency. And if you could find that frequency and then send an intense enough matching frequency, you could actually destroy things. And this phenomenon is called resonance. Resonance is uh, where vibrations go back and forth between two sources and create vibrations. It's like a tuning fork phenomenon. If you hit a tuning fork and you have another tuning fork set next to the original tuning fork, the second tuning fork will vibrate like the first tuning fork vibrates, and that's called resonance. That's called a resonance phenomena. Something goes from A to B, and then back to, uh, back to A again, and then back to B again, and A to B, and A to B, and A to B, and as things are going from A to B, forces are generated. It's kind of like the vibrational equivalent of a snowball rolling down a hill. As, uh, freak, uh, as energy goes from tuning fork one to tuning fork two, back to tuning fork one, back to tuning fork two, forces are generated, and these forces get bigger and bigger as they go back and forth and back and forth. This is what happens uh, when soldiers are, mar are, are marching down a bridge. This is why when soldiers are marching down a bridge, they're told to break stride, not to march in unison. Because if they march in unison, they'll get a, there'll be a resonance uh, phenomena that goes from their feet to the bridge and back to their feet and back to the bridge and back to the feet and back to the bridge. And it can end up destroying the bridge. On the other hand, when you resonate with a biological system, guess what happens? Instead of destruction, you get growth and repair. This is what coherence is. This is what we've been talking about when we talk about uh, coherence versus incoherence. Coherent vibrations take advantage of resonance, and you get growth, you get repair, you get healing. This is why nutrition works. Nu nutrients enhance frequencies. Nutrients enhance electrical energies. Nutrients resonate with the health of the body. Drugs, on the other hand, don't resonate with the health of the body. New, uh, drugs don't resonate with the natural, healthy state of tissues and cells and structures in the body. This is why drugs have to be detoxified. Nutrients, on the other hand, resonate with cells, resonate with structures, resonate with tissues. This is why the body loves nutrients. The body hates drugs. The body loves nutrients. Drugs are not supposed to be in the body. There's nothing for them to resonate with. This is technically the definition of a poison. A poison is a substance that doesn't, have a, uh, that doesn't resonate with the natural state of the body. The body wants to get rid of a poison. The body wants to get rid of a drug. On the other hand, nutrients do resonate with tissues, do resonate with structures, do resonate with cells in the body. The body does not want to get rid of nutrients. The body holds on to nutrients. The body gets rid of drugs. It wants to get rid of drugs quickly. We've said in the past that drug companies have to account for this instant excretion of drugs by increasing the dosages. So when you take a dose of your statin drug, a dose of your beta blocker, a dose of your calcium channel blocker, that dose has to be higher than uh, the amount that's required to create an effect because it has to account, the dose has to account for the fact that the body is eliminating the drug quickly. Nutrients, on the other hand, are held on. 
uh, the body holds on to nutrients because nutrients do resonate with structures, do resonate with cells, do resonate with tissues. This is why I always say nutri uh, drugs or nutrients are what drugs wish they could be. Nutrients are what drugs dream they could be because a nutrient is held on. The body holds on to nutrients. The body excretes drugs, excretes them quickly. Pharmaceuticals, medications, drugs create chaos. They create incoherent vibration. And this incoherent vibration, this chaos in the body is evidenced by side effects, fatigue, lethargy, depressed immunity, rashes, digestive problems, brain health problems. In this way, drugs are not only impotent, not only ineffective when it comes to treating disease, but even worse, they're a hidden cause of disease. Yes, prescription drugs are a hidden cause of disease. Prescription drugs from the doctor who's supposed to help us with our health cause disease. Prescription drugs cause disease, period. You can call it side effects. You can call it adverse reactions. You can call it toxicity. I'm telling you, it's disease. Prescription drugs make us sick. Not only do prescription drugs not improve our health, they make us ill. And whether the disease has a name or not, all you, gotta need to, all you need to know is the side effect profile, the adverse reaction profile, which is right on the package insert of your prescription drugs. Anybody on a prescription drug, by the way, should be reading the package insert. Ask your pharmacist for the package insert. They don't like giving it to you. I remember getting, in, uh, getting into some trouble uh, when I gave patients package inserts. So the doctor said, how dare you give my patient the package insert? You should know if you're on a prescription drug what it's doing to your body. What Dr. Reif realized was that he could use this phenomena of resonance to heal. This is what he calls, or what he called, electrical nutrition, what I call electrical nutrition. Because infectious disease was such an important issue at the time Dr. Reif was living, at the time Dr. Reif was working with machinery, this is the pre-antibiotic days, in the 1920s, or 1918, the Spanish flu alone killed over 50 million people. People were dropping dead of, uh, of, of the common cold in the 1920s. Infectious disease was a serious, serious problem at the turn of the century, pre-antibiotic days. And what Dr. Reif demonstrated is you could kill bacteria using electrical phenomena. And what's more, you could kill bacteria, you could kill germs using electrical phenomena in a non-toxic fashion. In other words, the vibrations, the electrical vibrations that Dr. Reif was channeling with his Reif machinery would target the germs and target the microorganisms that would cause diseases without affecting cells. He could, what Dr. Reif figured out was that he could actually create vibrations that match the vibrations of the microbes, a natural, uh, a natural oscillation of the microbes that match the natural moving back and forth of the microbes, the bacteria, the viruses, the funguses, and he could kill the microbes without affecting the cells, without affecting our, our, our healthy cells. He called these, these matching vibrations the mortal oscillatory rate, the MOR, and he found that every bacteria, every fungus, every virus had its own MOR that he could match and he could kill using his Rife machinery. And you would think that doctors would love Dr. Reif, that doctors would love the Reif machinery, but that's not what happened. And I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Hey, Daniel. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you're dealing with a health challenge you or a loved one may need help with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. So hang on, uh, hang tight, and we do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010. From the journal Medical News Today, scientists have identified a sequence of events involving immune cells that become abnormal in Alzheimer's disease. Why is this important? Well, it's important because dementia, Alzheimer's disease being early onset dementia, is an immune system problem. It's an inflammatory issue. It involves uh, the same things that, in, that are associated with any kind of degenerative disease. The body is breaking down secondary to attack that attack comes in from the foods that we eat primarily. 
And when I say foods, I'm not, talk, I'm not just talking about foods as in food intolerances. I'm also talking about sugar. Alzheimer's disease is linked to blood sugar. It's also linked to digestive problems, the so-called gut-brain axis. And that means, once again, we have control. That's the take-home message of almost everything we talk about on this program. We have control over our health. Disease is not random, whether you call it vibration, whether you call it digestion, whether you call it uh, blood sugar, whether you call it stress and cortisol, whether you call it nutritional deficiencies. We have control over how our bodies show up for better or for worse. From the journal MedPage today. Is strict blood pressure control a good bet for chronic kidney disease patients? Intensive blood pressure reduction may be of some benefits to patients with stage 3 to 5 chronic kidney disease. Kidney disease, which affects millions of Americans, is a circulatory problem. It's a blood problem. The kidneys filter the blood. When the blood becomes thick, the blood becomes sludgy, it clogs up the kidneys, and this is where kidney disease comes from. This is why diabetics are much more prone to having kidney disease, because sugar clogs up the blood faster or as fast as anything else. If you have a kidney problem, clean the blood. In fact, if you have any health challenge, clean the blood. How do you clean the blood? First of all, by eliminating problem foods. Second of all, by patching a leaky gut using probiotics, eliminating gluten, of course. And by the way, you can have gluten intolerance of the brain. You can have leaky blood vessels that lead to brain degeneration issues. Cleaning the blood, once again, becomes extremely important no matter what your health challenge is, whether you're talking about the brain or whether you're talking about the kidneys. Get on a good nutritional supplement program. Use chelation therapy. Chelation therapy where they inject something called EDTA into your blood can magnetically clean the blood, magnetically attract toxins out of the blood. You can use N-acetylcysteine as an oral chelating agent. You can use selenium as an oral chelating agent. That is, uh, you don't have to necessarily have chelating agents injected into your blood. You can use uh, selenium. You can use NAC. You can use sulfur. You can use vitamin C. These all have wonderful chelating properties. And if you're dealing with kidney disease, it would probably be a good idea. I have a good friend who's a physician. He's in his 80s, and he looks awesome. He's been doing chelation therapy every month. He told me, uh, he, and I'm going to have him on the program here hopefully sometime soon. He told me everybody in his family has heart disease except him. Everybody in his family had uh, some kind of cardiovascular health issue, and many of them died of heart attacks and heart disease except for him. He's 85 years old. He's healthy as a horse, and he does chelation therapy every month. If you have unlimited funds, you're probably doing chelation therapy. Movie stars, actors, millionaires, they're all doing chelation therapy. And as I say, you don't have to go to a chiropractor or a doctor to have official uh, uh, injectable chelation therapy done. You can use it using oral nutritional supplements. Just another reason to get on a good nutritional supplement program like the one designed by Dr. Wallach. If you're interested in starting a nutritional supplement program, I can think of no better place than to head than to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and order the Longevity Healthy Start Pack. Get the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, which have natural chelating properties. Many of the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients have natural chelating properties. Properties, in addition to vibration stabilizing properties for building a strong, healthy body. All right, and pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010, lines open for you on the bright side. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Carlos in California. Good morning, Carlos. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, sir. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, yes, hi. Um, I can get your help. Um, I believe I am going to... Uh, parasite thingy in my body and I just want to see if uh, what would you recommend what herbs or vitamins or minerals or detoxes what makes what parasites. makes you think what makes you think you have parasite tell me uh, like, well, where'd you get that first idea of all, my, uh, my mom was diagnosed with parasites and second of all is I have uh, like three or four symptoms of parasites I have acne I have brain fog um, I got some rashes itchy in my body and uh, I've been breaking out for the past 15 years but why? I'm not, I'm not clear on why you're attributing it to parasites. Uh, uh, I was reading an article, and the top ten symptoms, if you have parasites, and I have like five or six of them. Well, I'm not thinking parasites. I'm thinking other things. Now, if you do have parasites, and 
I, I, I have a problem with the whole parasite theory. It seems to me like the way we eat and the way we live our lives is much more fundamental to our health than parasites. For example, are you eating pristinely? Do you know uh, that the foods you're eating are clean? Do you know that you're not having any digestive health problems in terms of food allergies or food intolerances? Do you know your blood sugar is stable? Do you know your stress hormones are not high? You know, these are more important things and, and things you have more control over than parasites, and that's where I would be starting first and foremost. If you really think it's parasites, or if anybody out there is positive they have parasites, use bentonite clay or zeolite or charcoal, activated charcoal, and you can attract the, or, or pull the parasites out of your body. But I would think that that's, I, I wouldn't guess parasites first, Carlos. I would guess first digestive problems. And I don't know if you've listened to this program before, but that's always the first thing to focus on is food intolerances, food allergies, and problems breaking down or digesting food at the intestinal level. Now, whether it's a parasite that's causing the problem or whether it's a food intolerance that's causing the problem, the only way you're going to find out is by doing a food diary and eliminating problem food. So what I would be doing if I were you, uh, if you want, do the charcoal and the, and the zeolite and the, um, and the bentonite clay. Bentonite clay, by the way, is available in most health food stores. You just do a teaspoonful every day. And, and bentonite clay is a great health strategy for anybody because it helps clean out the blood. And bentonite clay is also a good source of minerals. So bentonite clay is just a good overall health strategy, doing a teaspoon of bentonite clay in a glass of water, maybe three to five to seven days a week. Uh, but I'm guessing that you probably have more fundamental things going wrong with your health. And first is the uh, first thing you always want to focus on is the digestive system. That means do first a swear OV cleanse. Get yourself up, call Longevity, call 866-735-2470. Tell them you want some Swero V. That's spelled S U E R O V I E. It comes in a six pack. It costs maybe three bucks a bottle. You do half a bottle of Swero V uh, every hour or so for maybe two or three days, or even one day, anywhere from one to three days, let's say. Uh, what that'll do is that'll clean out your system. All right? That's the first thing you do. Then, when you're done with your Swero V cleanse, get a notebook and start paying attention to how your body responds to food. And it helps if you just eat one kind of food. Now, for those of, those of you guys who have been listening to this program for a long time, please bear with me because we talk about this all the time, Carlos. But I'm just going to assume that you haven't heard me say this before. So you want to do what's called a food diary and an elimination diet. A food diary is where you write down everything you eat and you start off with your favorite foods and you just eat one kind of food, say for half a day. If you love, you love cheese, for example, just eat cheese for, the, for half a day and then write down how your body responds to that food over the course of the next, say, 12 to 24, even up to 36 hours and you keep a log. Ha we gotta take a break, Carlos, so hang on, don't go away. I'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben, got lines open. It's a no brain. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you. We're talking to Carlos in California about parasites. One more thing, Carlos, about parasites. Have you uh, ever had colonics or have you ever had a colonic, a colonic, uh, colonic therapy? Do you know what that is? Uh, I heard of it, but I, 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 was, I was looking, uh, I was going to ask you also, about uh, if you recommend or would you get have some information on coffee enemas? Uh, yeah, I, I like the colonics a little bit better than the enemas. With the colonic, you can actually go higher up in the intestine, clean out higher up in the intestine, and also if you have a good colonic therapy, they, colonic therapist, they can help. Uh, they can add bacteria. Uh, into the into the water that they use so that you won't lose any gut bacteria with an enema that doesn't happen if you don't want to deal with having a colonic or going to a colonic therapist a coffee enema might work too uh, but I'd be focusing on, as I was saying before, to break more on digestive health by doing a Swero V cleanse first. If you notice that you feel better after a Swero V cleanse, that's a sign that you don't have parasites. So it can be like a little diagnostic tool that you use for yourself doing a Swero V cleanse. In other words, if you feel better after your Swero V cleanse, that eliminates the whole parasite hypothesis. If you don't uh, feel better, then uh, you may have parasites. Although, I, like I say, I would consider that to be unlikely. After your Swero V cleanse, you want to do a food diary slash elimination diet where you write down everything you eat and then see how you feel after specific foods, starting with your favorite foods, and then eliminate foods that cause problems. Simultaneously, okay. 
after you do your, not, not simultaneously, but after you start eliminating foods, then you're going to want to get on a good probiotic supplement like the Nightly Essence. Also using things like fermented foods uh, can help restore gut bacteria and using uh, fiber can help provide a, uh, an environment for good bacteria to thrive in, in the intestine. Do a, a flax beverage where you grind up flax seeds uh, and then uh, drink maybe a teaspoon or two, te uh, two teaspoons of flax seeds in water. Uh, I call that a flax beverage. You can add a little cinnamon if you like or a little bit of honey if you like. And then also uh, uh, vegetable juices can also provide a nice environment for bacteria to thrive in in the intestine. The second thing you want to do after you take care of the food, uh, food element is work with your blood sugar, stabilizing your blood sugar. Hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, can cause some of the symptoms that you're talking about, particularly the brain fog and the lethargy issues, the fatigue issues. Those can be associated with low blood sugar. So keeping your blood sugar as stable as you can by avoiding foods that spike your blood sugar and then using nutrients that uh, help your body process sugar, things like the B vitamins, for example, vitamin B1 and, and B3, Selenium can help your body process sugar, and of course the Sweeties from Longevity, which has chromium and vanadium, will help you process sugar. And then niacin, use the ultimate niacin, that can also help you when it comes to sugar metabolism. Then there's nutrients that you can use to get you energy. One of the best energy providing nutrients are the B complex, the entire B complex. The B complex isn't, they, they don't really give you energy, but they help your body get energy from foods. When we eat food, that food requires nutrients in order to be turned into energy. And that's what, the v, that's what the B vitamins do. That's the role of the B complex, to turn food into energy, to turn food into substances that we can use or elements that we can use to drive chemical reactions in the body. As it turns out, B vitamin deficiency is extremely common for several reasons. Number one, the B vitamins are very, uh, uh, very fragile, and cooking and processing and freezing and storage all have a tendency to deplete, the, deplete foods of the B vitamins. Secondly, the B vitamins are water soluble. So we excrete them as we, uh, as when we go to the bathroom, when we urinate, we lose our B complex. And if you're not replacing them, it's very deficient. It's very easy to become deficient. The, uh, along the same lines as the B vitamins are electrical substances, specifically things that we call electrolytes, potassium and calcium and magnesium and sodium. These are minerals that conduct electrical charges in the blood. And like the B vitamins, they are water soluble. So it's very easy to become deficient in the, B, uh, in the electrolytes, like it's very easy to become deficient in the B complex. This is the beauty of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine, one of the first things people notice when they start using the BTT is they have more energy. Why? Largely because the BTT is packed with B vitamins and electrolytes. That's why I say, if for anybody who's on the bubble or on the fence about getting on a nutritional supplement program, just use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. One of the first things you're going to notice is you have more energy. Carlos, everything you talked about, the brain fog and the lethargy that you're attributing to, to parasites, it could easily be something as simple as B vitamin deficiency and electrolyte deficiency. And if you're not on a nutritional supplement program, you're not constantly throughout the day replacing your B vitamins, replacing your electrolytes, it's not only uh, possible, it's, pro it's likely that you're deficient in these energizing nutrients. So making sure that you're working with, uh, with uh, supplementing with the B vitamins and the electrolytes. One more last thing, and then I'll let you, I'll let you say something here, Carlos. You got to keep make sure that you're uh, lowering cortisol levels as well. Stress hormone over the course of time, stress hormone can give you energy, can give you quick energy, but over the course of time, you can run out of cortisol, cortisol depletion, and that will also cause fatigue and lethargy and brain brain health issues as well. So making sure that you're doing things like deep breathing, exercise, getting enough sleep, relaxation strategies, all of those can be important uh, for helping reduce brain fog issues and, uh, and also for helping with energy. So working with your blood sugar system, working with your digestive system, lowering cortisol levels and getting on electrical nutrients and water soluble nutrients. That's a much more important strategy than trying to focus on parasites, in my opinion. Go ahead, Carlos. I didn't mean to interrupt you there. No, it's okay. Uh, I just want a quick question. Let's say for let's say I do have this parasite issue in me. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's say I do, and then I take uh, most of these supplements like the BTT and so on. Will, the, will that help? Will, will the parasite uh, bind into the minerals and not be able no. to really absorb? No, they're not going to bind no. to minerals. That's not going to happen. The minerals and the nutrients can make you stronger and improve your immune functioning. 
and improve your body's ability to resist anything, any toxicity that's associated with, with a parasitic invasion. But if you want to get rid of the parasites, if, if that's what you really believe that it is, or it turns out that's what it is, that's yeah, where your, I, bent, I, that's where your bentonite clay will come in. That's where your charcoal, activated charcoal will come in. And that's where, um, uh, if you want to go into zeolite, uh, and that's spelled, by the way, a Z-E-O-L-I-T-E, that's where zeolite can come in handy. And, and just as a general detox strategy, because we're all, we've all got toxins, whether you've got parasites or not, we live in a toxic world. The water we drink is toxic. The food we eat is toxic. The air we breathe is toxic. Using these detox strategies like bentonite clay, specifically bentonite clay, which I love because it's a source of minerals as well as a, as well as a detoxification aid or agent, uh, but also activated charcoal is great for everybody to use. Just don't do your activated charcoal or your bentonite clay or your zeolite too close to your, your nutritional supplements because just like the bentonite clay will get rid of parasites, it'll also get rid of your nutritional supplements. So make sure if you're supplementing, you don't use your bentonite clay or your activated charcoal or your zeolite maybe a couple hours, uh, within a couple of hours of supplementation. Same with medication. If you're taking prescription drugs, you want to make sure that you're not using your bentonite clay or, or activated charcoal too close to your prescription drugs. On the other hand, if if you are taking prescription drugs, using bentonite clay and activated charcoal is a great way to detox off of prescription drugs uh, to help your body eliminate those drugs. Just don't you don't want to do it too close to when you take your drugs, otherwise you won't get the you won't get the med the uh, medical effect from the drugs. Not that may be a good thing depending on what drugs you're on. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, for, Carlos. For for how long or how many times a day or for a month or three months should I be on this bentonite clay or, or activated life. charcoal? For life. Really? Every yes, day? for life. Yeah, it's a detox strategy. I mean, even if whether you have parasites or not, Carlos, if you're like, you know, most people, you've got toxicity. You know, just the way, like I said, yeah. just the way we eat, just the way we drink is going to going to make our bodies toxic. And these are general detox strategies. Uh, but what you might want to do is see if you feel better. If your parasite, your uh, the symptoms that you're attributing to parasites improve when you use your detox strategies, and then if you want to wean yourself off of it or, or get yourself, you don't need to wean yourself off. But if you want to stop using the bentonite clay, see how you feel when you're done. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Because another thing too, another issue to the problem is my my uh, my my teeth are filled with uh, fillings. That's another. You say uh, that, exactly. That's another element. Yeah. If you have mercury fillings, that, that yeah. can absolutely be a problem. For mercury, think selenium, think vitamin C, and uh, also uh, N-acetylcysteine, NAC, and sulfur for uh, chelating mercury. Sulfur. 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 Yeah, get, get on MSM. You can also use, as I say, the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients from Longevity. You'll get some MSM in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You'll also get some in, in the glucosamine. But for getting rid of, in the glucogel caps, for getting rid of mercury, think selenium. That's your ultimate selenium. Think sulfur. That's MSM. Think vitamin C. Lots of places where you can get vitamin C, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And think NAC, NAC, or N-acetylcysteine, which I put in my blemish repair complex, by the way, which you'll find oh, okay. at True Treatment. Should Carlos, I, should good I, to talk should, to you, buddy. Should, 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 quick question, really quick. Should, should I consider down the line in a year or two uh, thinking of removing the fillings? Uh, yeah, that's always a great idea. But don't remove them all at once. But it's always a great idea to get rid of your mercury fillings. Carlos, we're out of time, buddy. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening, friends, to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular, awesome day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.